Hey guys, Beaver here. As you guys have probably seen, I've rebranded the channel just a slight little bit from Beaver Paintball to Beaver MagFed. Uh, I had a buddy that plays Airsoft pretty regularly. He had some extra gear, so he invited me out to give it a try so I could finally test it out, see what it was like. And if you guys saw the vlog of that day, I'm sure a lot of you have by now, you could see the excitement on my face at the end of the day. It was a good day out. It was a lot of fun. It didn't hurt as much. Like I wasn't sure how it was gonna feel, but compared to a paintball, it was almost like nothing. Uh, I know a lot of people in the airsoft community, being a part of, being like an active member in the APAO and traveling across Ontario playing MAGFED events. Uh, so I decided that I would start playing airsoft as well just so that I could play more MAGFED only games. Uh, I've played a lot of open class games this year and I, as much as I like playing paintball, uh, I don't really enjoy just being sprayed down by guys uh, with the speedball guns and that. I like the more tactical side of it. I like the MFOG side. The missions are more in depth. There's like actual missions that aren't just slapsticks. It's not just spray and pray, like you gotta play tactically. And that's just what I like and that's what I wanted more of. And after playing Airsoft, um, seeing the difference in the prices between the two, like Airsoft is a lot cheaper than paintball as well. And as a lot of you probably know, I have my second child on the way. Should be due uh, any day now. I think we're about 15 days away from due date now. So a cheaper option for me is, is pretty good at this point. It means I can play more often. Um, but I went and picked out some gear and I learned a bunch of stuff and I went and grabbed the gear so I wanted to go through what I grabbed, why I grabbed it, and my thought processes behind it, some mistakes I've made already, and just wanna give you guys some pointers if you decide to pick up Airsoft as well so that you don't have to waste any money on things, some things like I did. All right, first and foremost, we are gonna do the guns because I love guns. Uh, I picked up this MB03 uh, well VSR 10 it's a Tokyo Mayaru or however it's pronounced replica uh, or clone I guess it would be a, a clone ripoff uh, it didn't come with the scope I picked this bad boy I got the actual gun uh, from tier 1 armament of course uh, I know right now they don't have a lot of airsoft stuff listed on their website but if you message them or email them they're excellent to get back to you. They can give you a rough idea of what they have, or if you're looking for something in particular, they can tell you if they're gonna get it. Uh, but I got the scope from Tactical Sports. It was about uh, 149 plus tax for the scope. Uh, I picked the bipod up. I think I bought it off Amazon for 20 bucks. I wasn't even sure if I was gonna use a bipod or not, so I just picked this bad boy up uh, just to have something on there, more so for when I'm zeroing my scope to keep it steady on the bags. And the gun itself, I believe it retails for $2.59 plus tax. Uh, it's nice, it's solid to hold, it feels nice. It's not that heavy, uh, it probably weighs less than my SAR-12 did, but for a fraction of the cost, this thing can shoot uh, further than my SAR-12 before I have to arc. Uh, the SAR-12 I would have to zero at 40 yards as I'm sure you guys have seen from my other video. Uh, this one I will zero at 65 to 70 yards. Uh, so a lot of the maps where you used to see me, I would aim up and arc at the guy, arc the shot down. This one I just aim right at them, point, click, boom, they get hit. Uh, it's pretty nice. I gotta paint the end so I don't get uh, so I'm not a dead giveaway at a scenario game in the middle of the woods. You just see this orange tip and I'll get hit. But other than that, it feels nice. It's solid. It's got the little hop up on it. It's it flies. It's it's been cool to shoot it to say the least. It, it's I didn't realize how far BBs actually flew, so it's cool to see. Uh, for a sidearm because in most airsoft events uh, bolt action players sometimes uh, they shoot at higher velocity this thing shoots i believe it shoots at 450 feet per second um, yes it seems higher but the jewels i believe are actually lower than a paintball because the mass of the bb is smaller 
but uh, a lot of the airsoft snipers, they can shoot at a higher FPS, so they have minimum engagement distance, so you have to grab a sidearm. So I grabbed this uh, Poseidon Orion number two. It's a nice little pistol. It's got the locking back feature when the magazine's done so that you know it's done. Uh, the magazine, I grabbed the green gas version of it. I was told if I wanted to play in stores or outdoors, green gas would be most consistent for that. Also shot to shot, I'm not losing velocity with like the CO2 as a CO2 depletes. I'm not losing any velocity on it. Um, the cool thing about this pistol that had me sold on it, uh, it's a polymer slide. I didn't want the full steel as cool as they are. Uh, the full steel, I didn't want that much weight. I was trying to be as lightweight so I could be tactically moving. Uh, so I went with the polymer slide. But the coolest feature is I can slide this back and there's this little orange dial in there. I don't know if you could see that or not, uh, but I just flick this switch and I'm now in full auto and I can just spray and pray and I flip that back and I'm back to semi-auto like no problem and it feels nice it's comfortable it's got a good grip it even has a gripped hand or pistol grip so that my gloves grab it really nice oh uh the magazine for this uh, it's this little guy here. It holds 30 rounds, which is surprising. I'm used to something this big holding four to six. Uh, so it was nice to have this. And these are only, I think they're 16 or 17 bucks each, which is a nice change from my SAR-12 mags that were like 60 to 80. Um, the pistol mags, these are all steel. These are solid. Uh, these are 55.99 or something like that. And then I got my speed feed, so I just hammer, 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 and fall. And I'm back in the game, so I don't have to keep coming back to spawn because the bag of first strikes I carried with me is empty. I can carry this little speed feed, and it carries over about 160 BBs. So I can reload my mags on field as I'm going nonstop, and I don't have to leave the field anymore. I'll just have my hydro pack with me and keep drinking and shooting because you guys know that's what I love to do. Uh, this is my can of green gas. Uh, it's pretty cheap. It was like $22.99 or something like that. It will fill uh, my magazine probably about 20 or so times before I'll need a new bottle, which is nice. So again, very cheap. Uh, one of the biggest mistakes I made when I first bought all of this, um, everywhere online talks about 0 0.20 gram BBs. So what did I do? I bought 5,000.20 gram BBs. And actually, these are only really used for like a heavy gunner that's just spraying and spraying and spraying and spraying where they don't need great accuracy. When I shoot it through this, uh, the hop up is too strong on this. So even when it's off, it shoots too high and it just sends them to space. Uh, so what I did was I went and I bought a little bit heavier because I haven't upgraded the internals in this at all. I bought 0.32 grams and it shoots so straight, like unbelievably straight. And for the pistol, I upped it to 0.25. Again, shoots unbelievably straight. This also, of course, has the hop up on it. So it'll be flying and then you'll just see it woo, and keeps going straight. It is unbelievable. Uh, I did buy goggles and mesh, but when I was wearing it, it didn't quite seal around my eyes as much as I wanted to. And the mesh was sitting right against my mouth and I didn't want to take a BB to the mouth. So I just wore my CMDs because uh, it, it has my X-Fog already attached to it. I could attach my GoPro to it. Uh, and I just, uh, it just didn't feel safe enough. So I'm going to go into tactical one of these days and I'm going to check out some of the other brands of goggles and just see what they have. Also the mesh, I would love to start using mesh so my face won't sweat as much and I won't be as hot. But for now, the CMD is doing great. Um, this is so much fun to shoot around. I can't wait to actually take it out into the field and show you guys what I can do with it. But let me jump, get all my gear on, show you how I built my loadout, what I put in it and show you, uh, tell you exactly why. Uh, 
I've got my VSR 10. Uh, I picked up uh, an original run cam scope cam because it was the cheapest one I could find at the time. I uh, have my scope, got the bipod off of Amazon, and my selfie cam is still my GoPro Hero 4 Silver. Still rocking my armored mechanics gloves. I got the quick release Kydex holster for the pistol. I have two pistol mag tacos here for my sniper mags for quick mag changes. It's pretty secure on the belt, which is nice. On this side, I've got the taco for my pistol mag. I currently only have one mag, but it holds 25 rounds, so it's pretty good. Don't have to worry about reloading it too often. I got my dump pouch on the back and my radio pouch on the back to run it up. And of course, I've got my Intensity Customs Gravekeepers Team Jersey. Remember guys, Intensity Custom, number one for your jerseys. I just wanted to give a shout out to everybody that helped me set up this kit. Uh, Adam at Tier 1 was amazing for helping me out. Matt at Tactical Sports, he is a wealth of knowledge. If you have any questions or you're looking for something obscure, definitely reach out to him. Uh, Magic Mike at the compound has been a huge help answering a bunch of my questions. Same with Michael Bright. Uh, and definitely last but not the least Mike Brandon and Ashley Day thank you guys for answering my paragraphs and paragraphs of questions you guys have been there and answering everything every step of the way and I just want to say thank you guys to everybody that I named for helping me out getting all this set up and getting out to play